Welcome to another weekly update for the Robinhood stock portfolio. Obviously, we got the webcam now. It's going to change how I do things, especially editing. I'm not going to be able to zoom in as much as I normally do. So let me know what you guys think. Um, the idea that I had was that a webcam might help with the watchability of some of my videos. If I'm talking a little bit more like right now, you're not just staring at a blank screen. I don't know. Whatever you guys prefer, just let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, it's going to change how things are, just so you know. So starting out the video here, we are down 2% for the week, about $100. For the day, 0.29, still in after hours here, so things might change a little bit. Um, negative 2.05% for the past month, three month, 7% up, one year, about 12%, and all-time chart, 5%. So Still kind of in that correction territory like I talked about last week. Really not a big deal. It's just an opportunity to get better pricing usually. Um, so that's what we did. So for purchases this week, we bought into Pfizer again. It's a really good company. We'll talk about them a little bit more with those details in a second. But for the week, um, they went down to like 35 and some change on the 10th. And that's when I bought in. So I threw in $100. My average cost went down to 36.26. So it's not like a huge change, but it's good pricing, I think, for this company. For the day, it actually came back quite a bit. So we are up for the day and the total return again, 0.40. Obviously, that's not why we bought into them. Um, but yeah, let's move on. So actual dividends paid for September so far are three companies. There's a couple of dividend, uh, sorry, there's a couple of quarterly dividend companies that pay in September. So Johnson & Johnson, Microsoft already paid us for this month and then agnc is a monthly dividend payer so for the month we're already at two dollars and 94 cents which is nice we'll have to see how the rest of the month goes but it's not a bad start so moving over to simply safe dividends a lot of you guys have questions about this this is my dividend tracker it's an online web app um, basically i have to input the numbers every single week for my purchases there are some brokerages that they do automatically so you don't have to do that but the two that I have, they don't do it yet. They may add it in the future, we'll see. But I pay a yearly subscription for this. It's very expensive. I might actually not do it next year just because of how much it is. And uh, by that time, I feel like I won't really need it. Um, but we'll see how I'm feeling at that time. But yeah, it's really expensive, $400 a year. But I kind of thought it was a good idea to buy and use them to uh, kind of build the portfolio and feel it out have all these tools at my disposal in the beginning stages as I figure out what I'm kind of doing here. Um, but yeah, let's get to the numbers. So last week we had $306 in income. Dividend growth was 0.2% and dividend yield is 4.31%. This week income is up to $311. This is annual income. Dividend growth in the last five years, 0.3% and the dividend yield is 4.45%. So Pretty much a positive change in every category, regardless of a little bit of a drop in the balance here. So that's good to see. That means uh, the purchase of Pfizer helps quite a bit. So yeah, let's talk about Pfizer. So PFE, Pfizer, it's a healthcare company. Safety score on Simply Safe Dividends is really high, 75. That means they're very unlikely to cut or suspend their dividend. Dividend yield is 4.21% and dividend growth this year alone was 6% on average. So really good all around, solid numbers. It's not really that much of a stock either at $36. I mean, that's not very expensive. So if you're looking for a solid like healthcare company, Pfizer might be a good pick for you. Um, I'm buying into them still, but $10 in annual income just from them, that 4% yield, that's a pretty solid number. It's a little bit on the high end. But again, with that safety score backing that, I can put some money in them and feel pretty confident about that move. So you may buy into them again next week. We'll have to see how the pricing is. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my rationalization there. It's just a pretty solid company all around. So yeah, that about wraps up the weekly update. Not really too much to report on here. For people that are new and subbing to the channel, I really appreciate it. Um, if you're new to these videos, I don't really talk about news. That's just not really my strategy. For one, I don't really pay attention to it. It doesn't really matter to me. It's more about the companies. And as far as my analysis on companies, you know, I don't look super hard into them. 
I use Simply Safe to maybe look at some financials if I really don't know a company. That's kind of why I spent that money to get in here. Um, they give me all these numbers here that I can take a peek at. So that's pretty much as far as like my analysis on a company goes. I look at dividends and uh, just make sure they're kind of growing overall. There's a couple of companies I have that aren't really doing that, but I don't have as much money into them um, like AGNC. So sketchier company there is kind of more of a yield play, which I don't always recommend, but uh, you got to have a little bit of balance. So that's kind of why we do that kind of a thing. But like I said, that's pretty much it for the week. So any comments on the webcam, definitely let me know. Thanks for subbing and liking the video. It's been a lot of steady growth lately. I really appreciate that. Hopefully we can keep that going. I'm always trying to make better videos and uh, get out things that, you know, make sense to me. Um, I'm not trying to shove out content. I'm just trying to stick to what I believe in and what I'm doing. A lot of people try to like push out these apps because they have affiliate links. I don't do that. I know of a lot more apps than I've actually talked about. Every single thing I've talked about, I'm actually actively investing in. And if I decide to not do that, I'm obviously going to share that with you guys. So transparency is the most important thing to me on this channel and it will always continue to be that but yeah end rant i will see you guys tomorrow with the m1 finance update it's a good one um even if you're not watching the m1 finance updates you should just check it out um but yeah i'll just leave it at that thanks guys